What's up guys, I'm Bridget Daly with your Clever Music Wrap Up. This week in news, Gaga, Beyonce, and Coldplay perform across the pond, JT gives social networking a whirl, Breezy wins the popular vote, and Rihanna and Gaga get sued. Let's start with the overseas performances. Glastonbury was held last weekend and the two sets everyone's still talking about are Coldplay's and Beyonce's. Now it's been a while since Glastofest has had a female headliner quite as fierce as B, and Coldplay fans were just stoked to hear the band play some of their new stuff as well as the oldie but goodies. Next up is the headline that shocked many. Justin Timberlake announced he was acquiring MySpace along with a California-based company, and the group intends to make it a new social networking musical hub for fans and artists to connect. So look out YouTube and Facebook, because JT is bringing sexy back to MySpace. Also in this week's headlines was Chris Brown, and based on our BET coverage, we realized that either everyone in music is collaborating with Breezy right now, or he's at the very top of their list, which Sharice admitted to in an interview. We talked with tons of other artists who are on Team Breezy right now, from Swiss Beats to Carmen, so make sure to check out those vids on our channel as well. And finally, what's a week without a couple lawsuits? Rihanna was hit with another one for S&M, with an artist claiming she stole his ideas for her video. And then Gaga was just trying to help the people of Japan by creating rubber bracelets, but a company in Michigan thinks she's pocketing some of the profits. Drama. Now, as I said, you can check out the full videos to all these stories on our channel. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys back here with lots more news next week. Have a great 4th of July, everyone. Go USA!